Hello people, this uh, tutorial is finally going up. Uh, it's uh, nothing too big, I guess, but it is going to be a long tutorial, so get ready for that. What we are going to do is uh, polypaint a complete character uh, inside of Z ZBrush. Uh, and I'll sh I'll, I have showed you the character before, but if you're just, you know, arriving to my channel with this video, uh, this is the character, if I can get it uh, zoomed in here in ZBrush eventually. Here's the character, as you can see, uh, it's both uh, organic parts here, and um, there are also these mechanical, more metal-like parts. And all of these parts were poly painted in ZBrush, and I have recorded pretty much everything of it, and I'm going to show you it. Uh, as you can see, most of the time uh, in this tutorial is going to be spent doing uh, the body uh, texture, the skin texture. Uh, because that I find is quite a difficult thing to do uh, to get skin right and while this isn't perfect by any means I mean I think we can all agree on that it looks like skin somewhat and I think it looks decent and I'll show you my way of doing skin in ZBrush which is probably everyone else's way as well it's a pretty standard way but uh, I'll, I'll also show you how to do some texture uh, poly painting uh, with the clothes part, cloth part uh, as you can see if we zoom in on the um, waste here if we go to the sub tool uh, as you see this is all cloth and uh, I'll show you how I do this as well and I mean it's nothing too tough but uh, I thought it would be interesting to actually show you and it's uh, yeah I think this will be a pretty educational tutorial however uh, the entire sped up I think I sped up the video about 800 uh, percent which isn't as fast as I usually do it uh, but I want it to be a bit slower because I want you people to be able to learn a bit more one of the main criticism is criticism on my previous tutorials are well the previous time-lapse videos are that they are too fast and that you can't you know check what I'm doing or you know follow along it quite good and therefore I didn't speed this up as long uh, or as fast as I usually do and how I mean that's all good you probably um, are going to be able to see much more however uh, that means this video tutorial series is going to be about six or seven parts because the final sped up video is about an hour long so I mean I hope you won't you know cry over it I mean it's nothing too awful to watch through if you're interested in, interested in this stuff I have spent some time recording this and I've just figured you know maybe you people would like seeing it so I mean before I go uh, yeah this is the model it's it's not too high poly actually as many of you probably know uh, you need quite a high poly count to uh, be able to poly paint uh, properly in ZBrush uh, I have mine uh, my models are completely retopologized every part in here are, are you know all, all the parts are retopped as you can see if I turn the body for example down to one and you know isolate it uh, you can see that this is completely retopped. It's quite a clean mesh, and uh, I did this all in ZBrush as well. I didn't record it though, but this means that when I, I don't have to subdivide it a lot of times to get a good uh, topology and a lot of uh, good polygon uh, distribution, I just have to, you know, uh, use this and subdivide it. As you can see, if I go up to the level I have it on, finally, which is six, uh, we have quite dense uh, poly counts here, and I mean, the body is uh, 1.8 million. 1.8 million polygons, which is quite a lot, but not not too much considering everything. But yeah, so that's just the in small introduction of introductionary video. I did end up baking this uh, and stuff for the low poly, but I'm not going to show any of that. This is just strictly the poly painting part, and let's get to the tutorial, shall we?